Hello from CNN London, I'm Monita Rajpal. This is World Report. Dozens are dead and hundreds are missing in Indonesia. Today, the search for survivors continues after an earthquake at sea is proving to be a real challenge for rescuers. Joining us now on the line from Padang in Indonesia is Andrew Judge, CEO of the nonprofit organization Surf Aid International. Andrew, thank you for being with us. First of all, in terms of trying to get to people who need the aid the most, how difficult is that proving to be? Uh, look, it's very difficult. It's the, it's the best of times. Well, as Andrew was also saying, thousands of people in Indonesia have been forced to flee uh, scalding ash as Mount Merapi, which translate, uh, translates to a fire mountain, roars back to life. CNN's Kathy Kian is at one of the evacuation centers. She joins us now on the phone from Jakarta. Um, Kathy, what are you seeing? Well, bad weather is causing problems for rescue workers in Indonesia. We want to get more on that. Let's go to uh, meteorologist Jennifer Delgado at the World Weather Center. So, Jen, we've on the one hand, we've got that volcano. And then on the other hand, we have this uh, uh, the tsunami. Tell us about the weather conditions in both parts. Hi, Mini. You're right. And the weather is going to be so important over the next several days. And okay. Jen, thank you for that. We are, of course, continuing to monitor both of the disasters in Indonesia. You can get more information on our website. Just go to CNN.com slash international. A major sea and air rescue is underway in the Atlantic Ocean to save 111 people involved in a ship fire. 81 crew members from the Athena, a factory fishing vessel, evacuated uh, into life rafts. From now it's election season in the U.S. where nearly $2 billion will buy you one nasty campaign season. Well, one watchdog group says that's the unprecedented amount Explain of money. Explain what actually happens in these uh, midterm elections. They take place uh, every two years into every president's term. And all 435 seats in the House of Representatives and 37 seats in the Senate are up for grabs. This election will decide the balance of power in Congress for the rest of uh, President Barack Obama's term. Right now, both the uh, House and Senate are in the hands of Democrats, which makes it much easier to push his agenda through. But if the Republicans gain a majority, that could become much tougher. And with the so-called Tea Party as a new factor, it's not known how it will all turn out. Despite the big push to get people to the polls, less than half of all eligible U.S. voters typically, typically uh, ba cast ballots in midterm elections. In some countries, like Australia, voting is mandatory. But would that idea ever fly in the U.S.? Carol Costello takes a look. So how does the voting rate in the U.S. compared to other Western countries where voting isn't mandatory? According to the International Institute for Democracy and Electoral Assistance, over 80% of voters turned out for the last general election in Italy. That was two years ago. In Germany, it's over three quarters of the voting population. That's the 77% in 2005. A little over 75% of voters to, in Spain turned out on their uh, last polling day two years ago. But here in the UK, it was only 61% back in 2005. Just north of the US and Canada, 59%. Uh, of the electorate turned out to register their vote in 2008. Still to come, lucky stars or persecution victims? Why a couple from a Hollywood is reporting there. Another actor making headlines in the U.S., Charlie Sheen has been released from a hospital in New York after an incident at a hotel room. A law enforcement source said the finally dance moves and grooves that mm, might make you cringe. And I'm a Picasso. I'm Juanita Rajpal in London. World Sport is next.